we must remember God redeemed us to reveal His glory through us. Look at verse 12. So now he's not talking about as much the inner reality of what's going on in your life as a Christian, what's in your mind or in your heart. Talk about waging war. He's not talking about that. He's talking about how we live and conduct ourselves in the world in front of unbelievers. That's what he means when he says Gentiles. He's writing predominantly to Jews in this first century, Jewish Christians. So when he uses the term Gentiles, that's another way to just, he's saying those who are not in Christ. Those who are non-Christians, unchristian, those who are still in Adam. And so he says in verse 12, keep your conduct among the Gentiles honorable. Keep the way that you conduct yourself, the way that you live your life among the world, or in the world, but not of the world, but among the Gentiles, keep it honorable. The word honorable means keep it beautiful. Keep your conduct amongst in, out in the world beautiful, handsome, excellent, choice, surpassing, precious, commendable, admirable. The way that you live your life out just in the world, in your job, wherever you frequent, is it lived in such a way, are you conducting yourselves in a commendable way, in an admirable way, in a handsome, excellent, choice, surpassing, precious, beautiful way. That's what you're commanded to do by Jesus. <coughs> to be inwardly holy, but also to live outwardly holy. And to keep our conduct among the Gentiles, among unbelievers, honorable, excellent, above reproach, so that, look, read with me, so that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God, ascribe glory to God on the day of visitation, on the day that Jesus comes back and they realize, whoops. The point is that we must keep our conduct among the Gentiles, among those who are not in Christ, above reproach. That's how we live in this world. And I want you to notice that he says, so that, the reason we live above reproach, excellent out in the world, is so that when unbelievers speak evil against you, when, it does not say if, what does that word when mean in the Greek? It means when. When they speak evil against you. The promise is all throughout the New Testament. Those who are not in Christ, no matter what your life looks like, whether it's really dishonorable or honorable, they will speak evil against us. That's what the world will do. That's a promise. And he's saying we must conduct ourselves in such high honor among the Gentiles so that when they speak evil against you, it will just have absolutely no grounds. And if they try to point at anything in Christians to say, ah, you see, they're dishonorable, they're not excellent, they should try to point, and the only thing they're going to be able to point at is your good works. That's what it means to keep your conduct among the Gentiles honorable so that when they speak evil against you as evildoers, they may see your good deeds and glorify God on the day of vis visitation. Our lives are to be lived in the world in such high honor that if people tried to point at us and accuse us of anything, the only thing that would stick is the good deeds that we do in the name of Jesus by the grace of Jesus. That's a high calling. 